Scoops are not normally that sexy, and over the years I've tried quite a few from eBay specials to the more top end. And the wonderful thing about doing this role is I get to try all sorts. Sometimes I can get quite excited about things, and other times they won't even raise an eyebrow, let alone any interest. This, on the other hand, pretty much blew me away. Hello and welcome to AAR On Air. Today I'm going to take a look at a scope that has changed the way we should maybe look at scopes. This range of scopes impressed me so much, the guys at Vector Air and I got our heads together and they too were so impressed, they're now a UK stockist of these. They are from Vector Optics. So, what's so special about these scopes in comparison to any other scope? First things first, let's discount the eBay specials that are cheap as cheap and promise the earth for the cost of a KFC bargain bucket. They will often come branded up as something they most definitely are not, such as this one. They may also promise a certain magnification figure or zoom range, and I've had them that are nothing like the claimed magnification. The quality of lenses can be so bad that they distort heavily at the edges and all clarity simply disappears. Then we have the reticles. Often they are for crossbows and are not intended for use on rifles at all and a heavy springer will probably destroy them in a very short time indeed. Staying with the reticle, the chances are it's some thick black wire reticle and not a quality etched item. Again, the wire version will, often as not, soon be in a sorrowful state if on a thumping springer. Then they will offer you an illuminated reticle for that dusk shooting that when switched on is a little like a 40-ton truck coming head-on towards you with all its lights on. But at least they can say they've given you an IR on the box. Oh, and they're often about half as long as the rifle you're going to be putting it on. So what about this scope from Vector Optics? Well, the first thing you notice is its size, which is really short at 270 millimeters or 10.6 inches. On this, 4 to 16 by 44 Veyron, which makes it a nice compact size for your rifle and is ideally suited to bullpups, even more so. Then you notice the build quality, which is absolutely superb. The finish to this is top draw and up with some of the best, but then you compare the price. And that's the real shock, because the price doesn't reflect the quality. This particular scope comes in at £205 UK, which to me is budget scope price. But this is a first focal plane scope on a 30mm tube with mounts included and a honeycomb shade to top it off, which is definitely not budget scope quality. Far from it. Let's get a little closer to this, shall we? Like I said, 30mm tube to help maximise the amount of light coming into it, with a 44mm objective lens on the end, and those crystal clear optics give a bright, clear edge-to-edge -edge image. The 4-16 to zoom range makes this really good scope for a spot of hunting and can reach out to some target work as well. But if it's target work you're going to be using it for mostly, stick around until a little later, because it gets better. The zoom ring is super smooth and not at all sloppy and not stiff either, just smooth, with no slip, grind or gritty feel at all. It's chunky enough without being overly heavily built. The turrets are one tenth mil and are lift and turn then click back into place 
to stop any unwanted movement. Again, super smooth action and definite sure clicks. Nothing vague. Now they're also resettable once you've zeroed it in with a supplied tool. It's a heavy grade plastic to ensure you don't mark your new pride and joy. Nice touch. This is also side focus, so no stretching out to the front of the scope. Yet again, smooth is the key word here. Getting this quality adds to the whole shooting experience and brightens your day in more ways than one, if you'll pardon the scope pun. This will also focus down as low as 10 yards for that close-up ratting work. Then, of course, there's that first focal plane reticle. Short of teaching your granny to suck eggs here, you will be surprised just how many people don't know what a first and second plane scope is. So, I'll take a moment to try to explain here. The normal or most common scope reticle is a second focal plane one, which simply stays a fixed size and image constantly when you zoom in or out, which means when you're using the markers or mill dots on the reticle to calculate your hold over or under, that effectively becomes different at different zooms. So a lot of the time hunters or target guys either carry lots and lots of figures to calculate or they stick to a fixed magnification, which kind of defeats the whole object of a zoom scope really. A first focal plane scope on the other hand grows with the magnification, which keeps that mill dot hold over or under constant throughout the whole zoom range. Oh. And don't forget the same applies to the windage markings too. I've heard a few guys shy away from first focal plane scopes, but my IT guy says they're probably the same ones who buy a mobile phone to simply make calls. Once you get past that initial shock of seeing the reticle change size, it becomes a real boom. The included mounts are high quality and really reflect the quality of the whole scope package. The honeycomb is simplicity itself to screw onto the front and is really useful to help reduce the glare from low sun. And it's far less intrusive than another 100 millimeters of sunshade tube out on the end. Of course, a four to 16 scope may not be a big enough range for you, well, what about this? A 6 to 24 by 44 version of the same thing. And it's pretty much the same diminutive size. There's only about an inch difference in the length. That's about 27 millimeters to the rest of us. Oh, and 10 grams different in weight. With this being the heaviest of the two, tipping the scales at an anorexic 580 grams. This one should get you up to most of the target work that you would want. There is even bigger available, but I'll probably take a look at those at a later date. What's that? You prefer smaller? There is a 3 to 12 by 44 first or second focal plane available too in the Veyron range, which is even shorter at just 245 millimeters or 9.7 inches long and only 500 grams. They all have the same high quality attributes as the lower powered magnification sibling and there's only about £20 UK difference in the price range across them all, which is amazing. If all this wasn't enough, as I've said, they all include high quality mounts and that honeycomb shade, which are a real bonus, together with pop-up front and rear covers. You know, I would always admit, if asked on the QT, that I'm a hawk scope kind of guy. Well, that has changed to include vector optic scopes too now. If you haven't tried one of these, you should. You really won't be disappointed. I think scopes just got sexy. Hopefully you've found this review useful and you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and of course, the old alarm bell as well to keep you informed of new releases. As always, there's all this lot to get involved with. There's still the AAR merchandise that keeps Mrs. AAR busy. 
And I really do need to thank the guys from Vector Air for the loan of these scopes. I had to do this review pretty quickly because they're going off the shelves at a rate of knots. One thing for sure, I know you'll be seeing more of these in future reviews. That's it. See you next Friday. Stay safe and shoot safe. Thank you so much for watching.